<laughs> um, you ready? So this week is one of our most exciting weeks. We have Discovery Week going on, which is the week where we fly everyone in from our Madrid office, as well as the folks that are remote to our Berlin office. And we collaborate on any projects that anyone can actually pitch and form new groups, new teams, uh, just to spend you know five days together thinking outside of the box. This year, I feel like people just like hit the ground running since the beginning. Also, this time we had way more um, fun activities. We are partnering with CERN and we actually flew some of them here to be able to be our judges and the winning team actually is going to CERN uh, in February. First of all, the collaboration is fantastic. Uh, being uh, the igniter of it, I, I'm very happy to see where it's going and how it's going. Super nice. I always enjoy coming to Berlin just to be with the people. What project are you most excited about? The animals, I think. So the idea was to make an also for them to gather like resources based on creatures and then also like hunting creatures and then also potentially taming them. We are trying to implement aspects of Seed's wonderful backstory and give seedlings a history. Our project is to add again into the game the farming to have a water as a resource so you know, characters have some needs for, for the water and to drink and stuff like that. My project is going to add winter to the world and also going to affect the seedlings so they might get cold if they go outside. The farms will produce less food, maybe starvation even, or force the players to stockpile food and that sort of things. So you're evil. We're yeah. calling ourselves the believers and we're stressing that we're not a cult. <laughs> That's what cults do, right? No, we're not a cult. <laughs> what we're trying to do with this is essentially take the seedlings and give them a, a sort of set of beliefs, kind of a belief system, if you will, and have that help them make decisions. Okay, they're, uh, they're a little busy now, so we'll come back later. Uh, so we are in the CERN uh, workshop. What we started uh, yesterday was to really start expanding our thoughts around what kind of futures there might be. Okay, you go to a new world and you get there, and what do you see? Our planet is purple. We have purple oceans. <laughs> We have giant trees. When they started eating um, raw mushrooms, they essentially started to consume the real matter of the planet and start to gain more mushroom traits. We started with a very much like Attack on ta Attack on ta It's an intense week, Discovery Week. We are gonna introduce Giant Ling into Seed, which is a big version of Seedlings. It can be a threat, but it can also be an opportunity. Happy societies will attract friendly, giant links and happy societies will attract sad or angry giant links. We wanted to be able to play through the life of a seedling uh, much faster. So we came up with this idea of uh, kind of leaning into the management aspect of, of seed and, uh, and focusing on kind of the moment to moment caretaking with an emphasis on an idle slash clicker type game. At the moment I'm working on skill trees and stuff like that which is really good fun um, and it just lets you think outside the box a lot more. Go ahead. You take that? No, you take that. Okay, I don't know. Um, he doesn't know. No, I know. We're doing hospitals and we're doing like plague, disease, um, viruses. So right now in the game we have like two laws uh, and also we have only one way of yeah. ever changing it all up. Things like a monarchy, mm -hmm. democracy, different kind of democracies. Anarchy. I am making ducks attack seedlings. We also had the concept of like seedlings throwing weapons at the ducks. And the latest scoop, you can actually harvest the killed uh, duck and bring it home. Currently they turn into tacos and uh, then you can immediately eat it. So that's exciting. Like a bag of uh, weapons that yeah. uh, the seedling can take and then throw in the ducks. Potentially of also bricks. bricks. That would also be a nice concept. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm trying to set up advertising because we currently have limited items in the game and I want to differentiate between products that don't technically have a difference but that seedlings might prefer one over another. So far it's going good. I had to rewrite everything a few times but um, and cut everything down. But it's typical. The farming work is going great by the way. Everyone is super excited about that. Too excited. We wanted to make a very mediocre project which you know would be just an average thing but now people getting a lot of praise for that and makes us worried. 
maybe yesterday morning it was kind of looking bad but i think we've kind of like recovered and we're in an okay spot okay you feeling confident about winning or not at all <laughs> um i think i've lost all sense of shame involving so many people and i've asked so many people for help and yeah it's we have had some last minute bumps but uh, people were were working late uh, into the to the night last night um and most of it seems to be coming together now so i think the demo should be demo ball just in the nick of time i think we finished everything we set out uh, to do right it was a very nice experience and surprisingly no like lack of sleep or anything or maybe yeah. maybe oh, right up at three. you start going really kind of divergent at the beginning of the week you're like oh i have all these crazy ideas and then you're like oh no i only have a day left i have to like cut kill this idea kill this idea kill this idea and that's where the magic happens that's kind of when you boil it down to like the core essence mm. you create a diamond what kind of what color diamond is your diamond <laughs> what color of, it's diamond colored <laughs> are diamonds colored i'm going first for a reason which is that i completely disregarded the theme of survival and also worked completely by myself so not very clang of me but i had fun and isn't that what discovery week is all about yeah So this is the old land mode. So this is the new one that I made. Ooh. Me and Serke, we set out to um, make infectious disease. So uh, we have the the plague and we have uh, hospitals. Instead of just adding a natural catastrophe and kaiju sort of feature, how about we do something that ma- makes the players feel more connected? You see the farming fields, nothing much is happening. The fields need water. My goal was to uh, ruin farming. I added winter to the gameplay impact that the moment is not much but it it looks pretty I think so we decided to build an idle game and you can play out the life of a city in this game you uncover a lost data chip on a vesta our team is the flexible government uh, it's a way that you can easily edit uh, society roles uh, you can see some of the ruins for the game We can see a few of the things the chatting just next to the old relics we wanted to take the UNN and give it a, an uplift uh, so that's what we did Welcome everyone to the special edition of the UNN. And now third place, Creature Team. The second place. Back to the room. We did quite a lot. Even if in the end it was quite unstable and janky and barely worked, but it still it worked. That was great. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. It is now the time that we've all been waiting for. It's not that we couldn't decide. It's just that these two projects were so complementary that we could not keep them apart. It feels unexpected because like there were so many amazing projects that were actually um, put, put forward. I'm very happy now we can model anything from the common flu to something horrible. So very cool.